Good morning and welcome to CEO Interviews on Core Finance. I am Bonnie Hughes. Joining us today is Frontera Resources. They have a producing oil and gas project in Georgia, currently selling gas domestically and exporting oil internationally. Last year was a transformational year for the company as they paid down about $32 million in debt. Joining us today is Zaza Manlishvili, who is the CEO of the company. Hello, and thank you for joining us. Hello. Thank you very much for having me on here. And so I understand you put out a operational update last week. Um, why don't you tell us about that? Sure. With pleasure. Thanks. Uh, well, actually, first of all, I want to start that we continue this transformational trajectory of the company. And uh, the last RNS, which we put out past week, was another evidence that the company is making substantial progress in operations, and uh, particularly uh, in Taribani complex of Block 12 in Georgia, where we just successfully completed drilling campaign for three wells in Taribani field. And as we speak right now, we are testing those wells and flowing oil for all of those three wells. And particularly last well, uh, Taribani 39, uh, proved to be excellent as we've started testing three, three weeks ago. And with very small choke size, with three millimeters, it's flowing still in a stable way, uh, something around 250 barrels a day, with uh, three, four hundred uh, thousand cubic feet of gas per day. So making us very happy. That's excellent. I understand there was a, you were having a little bit of problems with the cement casings, and um, you've basically made some progress on that. And how is, how is that going? Actually, in Taribani field, <clears throat> which itself is uh, very, very uh, the good and prolific field, and just to uh, remind everybody, you know, this field has over 1 billion barrels of uh, uh, oil in place, uh, about 150 million barrels of recoverable oil, and a little over 3 trillion cubic feet of recoverable gas. And historically, several wells have been drilled in this area, and uh, previous operators always had difficulties with uh, the cementing, uh, the drilling, uh, the, the, the completions. And what we did uh, over the years, and uh, the current drilling operation actually was another proof that we successfully overcome these issues, which previous operators had. We, we completed those wells in such a manner that improved drilling practices allowed us to have to achieve the well condition when the, the well bore is very nicely gauged, which is perfect precondition for a good cementing job. And that is another good precondition for successful completion and testing and production of the well. And this is all is happening uh, uh, as a result of our continuous progress uh, as we are working uh, in Block 12 in Georgia. And how much are you com currently producing and where do you expect to be production rates to be about a year from now? Well, uh, what we are producing, uh, we are currently producing, we are in, still, we haven't uh, the completed the, the, the testing uh, of uh, uh, these three wells yet, but uh, it looks like the year end target will be something like 1,000 barrels a day. Uh, and uh, probably two, three years from today, we will be producing about 10,000 barrels a day. Because now, uh, as a result of this testing campaign, it, testing program rather, what we see so far, it is very obvious for us that we, we will be that the kind of sample development well in Taribani field will be completed in Eldari B, uh, the, the, the formation, uh, which is uh, roughly 3,200 meters deep, 3,000, 3,200 meters uh, the, the, the deep. And we will be flowing this Eldari B uh, zones like 19, 20, 22. And uh, the, the once we start developing uh, the Taribani field in El Daribi, uh, the, the for formation, then we have a little over 250 locations ready. So in two, three years from today, we will be producing probably 10,000 barrels plus of very light, sweet crude oil with a lot of associated gas production. So the shareholders could be expecting profitability from the company by that point in time. Absolutely. Actually, we are turning ourselves to a profitable venture uh, towards the end of this year. And with this successful testing, which is going on right now with T39, we have uh, successful test at uh, T45 and uh, uh, the, the Dino 2 well as well. Those wells are flowing again the, the, the commercially. And uh, what we see is that we clearly see development here 
and the sample well, for example, as I said a minute ago, uh, in Tarimani is going to look like we will be completing in zone 19, then we have 15, 14, zone 9, and uh, these wells uh, will be uh, producing over a million barrels uh, uh, per well over the time of the life of the well. It looks like your share price right now, because it's been flatlining for quite a few months, um, is actually not taking all of this new information into account. Um, it looks like it's focusing on the past sort of problems and issues that you've had previously. So you must be out telling everybody how the progress and things are going with regard to your operational update. And I suppose shareholders can expect some news soon coming forward. Uh, well, probably the best news what we already put out for shareholders. First of all, I'm not an expert. I don't know how market works. Uh, I can tell you what's going on in the well. I can talk about geology, well economics, but uh, uh, I'm not an expert on market, how the how market is reacting. But the, the good news which, which we put out here is that uh, we have excellent results from T39 well flowing uh, at a commercial rates. And so far, what we are observing for the last three weeks or so, we see that well is flowing oil at a stable rate uh, with very substantial volumes of gas, which last several days we have noticed is increasing. And uh, if, if it becomes material, we're going to come back with, with uh, another updated RNS uh, to the market. So this is really a transformational point for us because it has proved, again, that we have development coming in Taribani field. And as I said before, once we have, uh, once we see and we already see actually. In fact, we, we see this commercial rates coming. Next wells, we will be drilling into uh, Eldari B, which makes uh, this well very profitable because you have Eldari B, Eldari A, and number of zones, 19, 15, 14, 9, uh, potentially 13, potentially 20. So for, for the, the, the lifetime of the well, we will be flowing over a million barrels uh, from, from Taribani wells. And that's why I think the market will uh, uh, understand and accept it uh, uh, in a right way versus a lot of speculation that, well, whether or not the, the production is going to last long enough. And uh, so far, what we see, the, the pattern of stable flow uh, makes us very, very encouraged to think of Taribani development uh, in years ahead. In your cash situation, <clears throat> you have enough to cover the drilling of the next three wells as, as well? Uh, well, uh, in, in our cash situation today, we are profitable at the operations level. Uh, we have an arrangement with one of uh, the, the, the hedge funds to uh, fund one of Eldari A well uh, towards the end of this year. So they're going to come in and will invest in uh, one of the Taribani wells. Now we are discussing with them uh, the, the maybe we alter this agreement such that instead of completing this well in Eldari A, maybe we go 200 meters deeper and complete it in Eldari B, so in order to produce more oil. So this is on one well. So, uh, But now, probably in the course of the next uh, three, four weeks, once we uh, get better idea on, uh, on uh, T45, uh, Dino, uh, T39, even though that all those wells look pretty good, uh, we will add more wells into our program for drilling next year. And how much stock does shareholders, and, I mean, does management own of the company? Uh, right now, approximately 75-80% uh, of stock is in, the, uh, in mainly in the private shareholders' hands, and uh, the, the company uh, management has roughly 15-20% of it. That's very good. Yep. Shareholders appreciate that when, you know, the CEO has skin in the game. <laughs> exactly. And, and uh, to, to answer again, to add to an answer to your earlier question, for my investment, results what we are seeing so far, it's pretty good, uh, pretty good so far. So Zaza, in your operation update, you also mentioned something about the UD2 gas well. Can you tell us some more about that? Sure. UD2 gas well, uh, we, we fracked this well. Uh, some time ago. Uh, we did some mini frack, then we did the larger scale frack. But unfortunately, this well, which has been drilled 35 years ago, didn't have quite good well integrity to withhold uh, whatever the, the, the fracking operation we, we, we run on this well. So, and unfortunately, we haven't achieved the right geometry of fracking. In other words, we haven't been able to target particularly zone we wanted to target with uh, the, the stimulation operation. But 
Uh, so the, the, the bad news is that we are not flowing uh, at the higher the volumes uh, this well. But the good news is that we've managed to see that this uh, the zone, uh, the, the, this myosin age drugs, they float on us, the, the natural gas, the dry gas, uh, at a rate of approximately 150,000 square feet, I mean 150,000 uh, cubic feet uh, per day. And this is first time in the country's history that those rocks, myosin age rocks, are flowing natural gas uh, at this kind of volumes, which is another proof that there is gas. And now what we are thinking about is, <coughs> excuse me, we are thinking to come back to this well, even though that we've plugged it, uh, we are actually preparing to plug it, we're going to come back and sidetrack this well. And like uh, I was describing in case of Taribani wells, we're going to sidetrack. We will have the nice gauge toll, put nice cementing around the casing, and this will allow us to have correct and proper geometry once we frack it. And once we frack, we're going to produce more gas from this well, and then we continue with the infrastructure development and commercial development of Tsarek Heavy Gas Complex, which has almost uh, 5 trillion cubic feet uh, of recoverable uh, gas uh, as CPR estimates. That's excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us, and we look forward to watching the progress on your company and uh, the production of uh, increasing production as well. Thank you very much. I look forward to come back and update you again. Oh, that would be great. Thank you, everyone, for joining us on Core Finance CEO Interviews. Have a profitable day.